वेलकम टू माई चैनल अध्ययन विथ फ्लो सो लेट स्टार्ट विथ आवर नेक्स्ट एनिमल टिश्यू द नेम इज मसल टिश्यू गाइज इन आवर प्रीवियस वीडियो दिस स्टार्ट एनिमल टिश्यू दिस एनिमल टिश्यू डिवाइड इन टू फोर पार्ट द फर्स्ट पार्ट इज एपेथीलियर टिश्यू वी ऑलरेडी डन दिस देन कनेक्टेड टिश्यू वी ऑलरेडी डन दिस एंड नाउ वी आर टॉकिंग अबाउट मसल्स दिस इज द टाइम टू मसल्स एंड इन आर नेक्स्ट वीडियो वी आर टॉकिंग अबाउट न्यूरोन्स न्यूरोस टिश्यू ओके सो लेट स्टार्ट सो अज्यूम अज्यूम वेयर at which part your muscles is present guys all over yaar come on all over muscle guys at your hands at your arms at your shoulder backbone or everywhere not i'm not telling with fat guys muscles they are very helpful they what they do they are very flexible so we can move them easily guys 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 some muscles some muscles are very soft and and some muscles very hard okay guys muscles is made up okay okay this is not important point muscle is what long this is not composed with all kind of muscle is long they it may be cylindrical okay it may be cylindrical look at here guys they may might be this shape they might be this in shape they might be this in shape okay according to location according to location they diverge their forms according to their location according to their work okay guys i am telling you some brief thing about how muscle cells will originate yes guys let's start some brief discussion okay i'm writing here guys i'm drawing a flow chart for you guys guys do you know how we originate how we produce how we form guys we form with the fusion of egg and sperm zygote zygote divide and further change into this is zygote na and this going to divide and they form what they form blastula divide 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 and now they form crestula in this stage three germs layer will form endoderm you know na i think you hear this thing endo endo meso derm wait i'm erasing this endoderm mesoderm and what endo meso ectoderm according to their name according to their name ecto means out outermost layer this is the middlemost layer and this is the innermost layer so basically muscle originate from mesoderm now you clear or not guys tell me now you clear or not so muscles are mesodermal in origin what mesodermal in origin this uh, layer necessary for making their kind of uh, organ like they make uh, inner lining of uh, your esophagus stomach they make like teeth or outer thing okay some rigid things okay muscles are they make bo uh, muscles bones mesoderm will form muscles bone cartilage etc guys okay now guys i am writing here so now it, at the starting of muscle cell origination first myoblast are form what myoblast are form look at here these the myoblast cells okay then they aggregate 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 more compact they form what they form what guys they form fibers guys they form fibers and now fibers now they aggregate one set is fiber one set is fiber one set is fiber what they form now what they form they form what mycofibril yes or not guys these are responsible for our contraction relaxation body movement because they contain in future what actin and myosin actin or myosin guys this is important guys this is very important actin is a thin filament and myosin is a thick filament is in your book or not no guys this is not given in your book right now okay now i'm not explaining very deeply these are responsible for contraction i'm not going in detail because in at this time this is not your in book contraction and relaxation okay they arrange like this thin what are they these are actin filaments these are what actin filament and what are these yes myofilament this is your relaxed relaxed form if they contract what happen they move at the center they move at the center so this is it this is it guys now you understand okay guys let's move forward let's start with our first skeletal muscles guys these muscles we can control easily skeletal muscles na guys we can control easily okay we can control easily like uh, i want to move my hand i want to write i want to sleep i want to walk this is in our control so where we can control our body this is where at that place the skeletal muscle is present okay so skeletal muscles tissues is closely attached to the skeletal bones guys in a typical muscle such as biceps guys biceps your biceps 
ओके दे कंटेन वॉट दे कंटेन वॉट गाइज दे कंटेन स्केलेटल मसल्स दे कंटेन स्केलेटल मसल अ शीट ऑफ टफ कनेक्टिव टिश्यू एंड क्लोज सेवल बंडल ऑफ मसल फाइबर्स गाइज आई ऑलरेडी टोल्ड यू ओके आई ऑलरेडी डिस्क्राइब दिस थिंग लुक के थीयर स्केलेटल मसल्स दीज आर वॉलेंट्री गाइज दीज मसल्स आर वॉलेंट्री वी कैन कंट्रोल वी कैन कंट्रोल दोज पार्ट दोज पार्ट वो मेड अप विथ स्केलेटल टिश्यूज वी कैन कंट्रोल दिस थिंग Now let look at here, guys. These are strips, guys. These are strips. Look at here. This is strip. This is none other than this is the this is strips. Okay. Now smooth muscles. Let's talk about smooth muscles. They are smooth muscles, guys. Where those kind of muscles are present, we can't control. We can't control like our when we eat food. After taking food, the food is engulfed. Okay. After engulfing the food, guys, what happen? they do some peristalsis movement and they reach in towards the stomach but this movement is not in our control guys this is the esophagus this is the what this is the stomach so after engulfing the food now this food go towards the where stomach but this movement here muscles also present here muscles also present but this movement is not in our control our body coordinate this thing automatically so this is involuntary we can we can't control this thing so here these kind of muscles is formed according like we Our kidney cells, our ureters, our ureters when they collect what urine. So here, the skeletal muscles contract and relax. So we feel some pressure here. Then we urinate. Okay, so these phenomena is not in our control. That we give order to kidney. Okay, kidney start filtration. Okay, kidney. So let's move urine towards the ureters. Okay, kidney. I'm going to urinate. No, no, no. This is not in our control. After engulfing the food, guys, what do you expect? You give this order. You give this order. Okay, food. Now go towards the stomach. No, 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 guys. But these muscles. these skeletal muscles these are in our control how guys if i want to walk so i can if i want to move my shoulder then we can i can move without my permission they don't move okay now clear or not guys now last is cardiac muscles okay okay wait 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 little bit look at here this is involuntary okay i clear this thing involuntary or not yes guys where they present blood cells stomach intestine lining okay i already teach you everything okay now let's say cardiac muscle cells this cardiac muscles these are heart cells these are heart tissues okay our heart is made up of cardiac muscle tissue this kind of tissue only present in the cardiac these tissues are only present in our heart none other than cardiac muscle tissues is a contractile tissue present in only in the heart not anywhere cell junction fuse the plasma membrane to cardiac muscle cells and make them stick together look at here na guys look at here this is also involuntary this is also involuntary look at here these are stretch these are nucleus how they connect look at here guys how they connect these are junctions between the adjacent cells these are junction guys so junctions are present communication junctions at some fusion point allow the cells to contract as a unit when one cell receive a signal to contract its neighbors are also stimulated if this uh, this particular cell get a signal that control heart contract something then heart may be contract because they passes their signal molecule towards this cell they passes their signal towards this cell they passes their signal towards this cell so heart will contract and relax so that is all about guys in our muscle tissue so now in this video we already done what muscle cells now guys next is neuron i think this is last i think this is last guys okay so this is last guys so what is neural tissues they present in our cns pns basically here i'm going to teach about neuron what guys neuron this is the structural and functional unit guys neuron the unit of neural system are excitable cell i'm drawing here for you neuron look at here i'm drawing i'm trying to draw okay okay guys now guys guys these are what these are dendrites with the help of dendrites what they do with the help of dendrites they take what signals from surrounding they get signals this is the signal molecule signal molecules signal molecules taken by what dendrites because dendrite have what receptors so they can take signals and they transmit their signal to their what this whole part we call it as a cell body these filamentous part we can call it as a dendrites and this part this complete part we call it as a what cell body they also contain some mitochondria some granules some energy molecules some cytoplasma okay now this long cylindrical structure here to here we call it as what axon guys yes axon after getting signal from the dendrites now cell body transmit the signal towards the axon 
Now, what is the special feature of exon? They are long, cylindrical, and they transmit signals towards their neuron ending. This is the terminal part. Means we can call it as the ending part. Okay. What is these? What these are the myelinated sheet. These are what? These are what? These are myelin sheet. They are useful in protection. These are very important, guys. Neurons are very important. If your single neuron is damaged, you don't know how much loss you can face. Okay, because they don't repair. They don't repair. Our CNS, our PNS, our neuron can't repair if they damage. So what they do? Exon transmit signals towards the where their terminal ending. These are terminal ending. We call it as a synaptic vesicles, and these synaptic vesicles contain some neurotransmitters because their name is neuron so they contain what neuro transmitter they neurotransmitter after getting signals they release they release outside the neuron and these signals again received by what another another what another neuron because they have dendrites so these signals are accepted by another and they give another 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 and they finally reach towards the cns so that's all about my friends my kids neuron tissues now you can better really understand beyond this thing i can clear you everything guys these are exon rod like structure long what is cell body these are cell body and this is what this is what your dendrite look at here dendrite and some neuroglia some signals okay neuroglia make up more than one half of the volume neural tissue they are make one of the half all right or not so here your animal tissues are complete in our next video we will start with earthworm frog and cockroaches yes or not look at here this is the cockroach earthworm guys sorry sorry earthworm guys sorry i am so sorry earthworm this is earthworm in next 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 look at here we are going to detail explanation about earthworm guys look at here everything their elementary system their circulatory system their reproductive system everything guys everything i also dissect these thing i also extract their elementary canal in my lab relax guys Okay, this is their reproductive. Okay, so we will meet in our next video. So, guys, thank you. Thank you so much for watching my video. And please don't forget to subscribe my channel. Thank you. Keep smiling and revision. Guys, revision. Why? Rank. A-I-R. Okay, thank you, guys. We will meet in next video. Thank you so much.